I work at this old gas station, right? It's in a quiet suburb, not much happens around here. But this place, it's got a past, a real tragic one. A few years back, a cashier got shot during a robbery. Happened right at closing time. So I've been noticing something weird. The cash register, it opens and closes on its own. And not just any time, but exactly when that poor guy got shot. It's like clockwork every single day. At first, I thought it was some sort of glitch. But then I started noticing that the amount stolen that night it's missing from the next day's earnings. I mean, I'm not a math genius or anything, but I know how to count money, and it's always the exact amount down to the last cent. I tried telling my boss about it, but he just laughed it off, said I was seeing things, but I know what I saw, and I know I'm not crazy. So I started doing some digging. I talked to some of the older folks around town, asked them about the gas station. They all said the same thing. That place is cursed. Ever since that robbery, strange things have been happening. I didn't want to believe it. I mean, I'm not one for ghost stories or anything. But the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. The register opening, the missing money, the exact timing. It was all too much to be a coincidence. So I decided to do something about it. I took the amount that was stolen and I left it in the register one night. I didn't tell anyone, just did it and went home. The next day I came in expecting the worst, but to my surprise, the money was still there and the register, it didn't open on its own. For the first time in months, everything was normal. I thought it was a fluke, that it would start up again the next day, but it didn't. Days turned into weeks, and the occurrences finally stopped. It was like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I don't know what happened, or why leaving the money in the register worked. Maybe it was the spirit of the cashier trying to right a wrong, or maybe it was all in my head. But whatever it was, it's over now. And I'm just glad to be able to go to work without feeling like I'm in a horror movie. But then, things started to change. The register had started acting up again. But this time it was different. It wasn't just opening and closing anymore. It was making noises. Like someone was banging on it from the inside. I tried to ignore it. To pretend like it wasn't happening. But it was hard. Every time it happened, I could feel my heart pounding in my chest. I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up. And then, the lights started flickering. It would happen randomly, without any warning. One minute, everything would be fine. The next, the whole place would be plunged into darkness. I was scared, I won't lie. But I didn't know what to do. I couldn't just quit my job. I needed the money. So I kept going, kept trying to ignore the strange happenings. But then, one night, Something happened that I couldn't ignore. I was closing up just like any other night. The register had been quiet. The lights hadn't flickered. I thought maybe, just maybe, things were going back to normal. But as I was locking the door, I heard a noise. It was faint, barely audible. But it was there, a whisper, a voice. I turned around expecting to see someone, but there was no one there. Just the empty gas station, bathed in the glow of the streetlights. I stood there, frozen in fear. The voice, it was saying something. I strained my ears trying to make out the words, and then I heard it, clear as day. Thank you. I don't know how or why, but I knew it was the cashier, the one who got shot. He was thanking me. For what, I don't know, but I felt a sense of peace wash over me. I left the gas station that night, and I never looked back. I don't know what happened after that. If the occurrences stopped, or if they got worse. But I do know one thing. I'll never forget that voice, that whisper in the night. It's a reminder, a reminder that sometimes the things we can't explain are the things that scare us the most. So that's my story. I know it's not much, but it's all I have, and I hope in some way it helps someone out there. Because sometimes, the scariest stories are the ones that are true. I work at this gas station in the city, you know the kind with a convenience store attached. It's always busy, cars coming and going, people in and out all day. But at night, it's a different story. It's just me and the hum of the fluorescent lights. One night I was restocking the shelves when I noticed it was getting real cold. I mean, colder than usual. I figured it was the walk-in freezer acting up again, so I went to check it out. As I approached, I could see my breath in the air. That's when I saw him for the first time. 
There was a man in the freezer. He was just standing there, staring at me. I could see right through him. He was pale, almost glowing in the dim light. His eyes were hollow, like he was lost or something. I was scared, but I couldn't move. Then, just as suddenly as he appeared, he was gone. I didn't know what to think. I thought maybe I was just seeing things, you know? It was late. I was tired. But then it happened again. And again. Every night around the same time, the man would appear. He never moved, never spoke. He just stood there, staring. I started doing some research, looking into the history of the place. Turns out, about 30 years ago, a worker died in that freezer. He got locked in by accident and froze to death. They said his body wasn't found until the next morning. The news articles said it was a tragic accident, but I couldn't help but wonder if it was something more. I tried telling my boss about it, but he didn't believe me. Said I was just seeing things, that it was all in my head. But I knew what I saw. I knew it was real. I started to dread going. The sight of the man in the freezer haunted my dreams. I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, I was a mess. But I needed the job, so I kept going. One night, I decided to confront the apparition. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just wanted it to stop. So I walked into the freezer, right up to where the man was standing. I could feel the cold seeping into my bones. I looked him in the eyes and asked him what he wanted. He didn't respond. He just kept staring at me with those hollow eyes. But then something strange happened. I felt a sudden chill, like a gust of wind had blown through the room. The man's figure started to fade, and then he was gone. I stood there for a moment, stunned. Then I noticed something on the floor. It was a small, metal object. I picked it up and realized it was a key, the key to the freezer door. I showed the key to my boss the next day. He was shocked. He said the locks had been changed years ago, after the accident. He had no idea how the old key had ended up in the freezer. After that, my boss decided to install a new safety system on the freezer door. It was one of those that can be opened from the inside no matter what. He said it was for my peace of mind, but I think he was starting to believe me. After the new system was installed, the apparition stopped. I haven't seen the man since, but I still feel his presence, like he's watching me. I don't know if he's gone for good or if he's just waiting. All I know is I'm left with an uneasy peace. I don't know what to make of all this. I'm just a regular guy, working a regular job. I never believed in ghosts or anything like that. But now I'm not so sure. All I know is I'll never look at that freezer the same way again.